Just taking a quick look at this Bouge RV Flash 300, and this is kind of a, a very unique power station from Bouge RV, and this is this is actually their own like kind of ground up design. This isn't just you know them slapping their name on an existing power station like the, like their other model. This is actually you know this is something that they came up with, and this thing's got a, a lot of uh, unique features and just and as you can kind of imagine with the name right Flash 300, um, this thing is all about charging speed. So this is like top of the class stuff. So um, let's just kind of like jump into it real quick here. And uh, basically the first thing you probably want to know about is, is the solar charging. So this is actually incredible because this is, remember Flash 300, this is a 300, uh, about 300 watt hours. It's actually a little bit less, but you know, roughly about 300 watt hour battery. And this thing can do huge solar, like huge, you know, basically we get a good voltage range and we get up to 25 amps, which is, which is kind of crazy, right? And uh, so with a, with a max cap of about 600 watts. So this is these specs are kind of like better than than even a, a lot of like larger power stations, even even still today, right? And then we do also get 600 watts from the wall, right? So um, and as you can see here, it's just using that standard AC cord. There's no power brick with this thing. And taking a look at this image here, you can kind of see all the secrets and how they're able to achieve this. So basically, you know, most power stations, they kind of have this bi-level design, right? Where where we would have the batteries. Um, down at the lower level, right? But it would be like this entire, you know, area here would be all batteries. So normally, like in a power station this size, like the physical size of this unit, you know, basically we'd have batteries going all the way across here, right? And this would give you probably, you know, almost double what this thing has, right? This this would probably be like a five or six hundred watt hour battery if they were kind of using this entire area. So obviously they're only using part of the the bottom area here, right? for the batteries and this is actually it looks like I'm guessing because they actually have the solar input you know the Anderson input on this thing basically they're probably have this like dedicated heat sink just for the MPPT controller because like I said that thing that thing can do up to 25 amps right now let's just talk about the design here real quick I do have a, a few quibbles with this design as far as the aesthetics go but um, let's just kind of like highlight the the main features here first before we get into that and for the USB we do get four USB ports uh, one of them is a 100 watt USB-C, and this is actually bi-directional, you know. So, you know, if the 600 watt input wasn't enough for you, um, you know, we do get this this uh, 100 watt USB-C input as well. And the reason I love having a, a PD input USB-C is because you can trickle charge this thing if you want to use this like for pass-through charging. Because this unit, you know, it doesn't have a UPS, which is, you know, not too big of a surprise on kind of a... A smaller unit with these with all these other features right and basically what you can do you know as, as I've kind of talked about in some of my videos you can just trickle charge this thing and have just like a little bit of power coming in through this USB-C you know while you're outputting um, you know the AC outputs so um, you don't want to be doing like you know a 600 watt um, fast charge while you're outputting you know that that kind of pass through charging will definitely kind of degrade the battery like really quick right now this is not a setup that you know I would recommend using like 24 7 as a UPS but you know basically you know like I said if, if it, there's bad weather in a storm right it's just a nice option to have that and then one little design detail that I really love I love how they have that little yellow in there for that USB-A fast charger you know, just it kind of ties that, you know, having the obviously this unit has a lot of yellow accents, but it's just just a nice little design detail. Right. It kind of ties it into the, the Bouge RV name. Now, let's while we're talking about these kind of yellow accents, this is kind of like my my biggest complaint with this unit is I think they went a little overboard with it. Right. I really like um, kind of having, you know, some colored accents on these power stations. And I think they could have done done well with just having the, the yellow handles and stuff like that. Right. I, I don't think they needed to have this huge yellow vent on it. And, uh, and so I actually kind of threw this thing in Photoshop to kind of change this thing up and just kind of see how it would look without that. Another thing that I did change, because this is kind of weird here, this just kind of really bothers me. You know, this thing is all about the solar input. And yet, look at this. It looks like that Anderson um, input was just kind of thrown on there at the last second. All right, so there we go. Just a few quick little changes, right? Just, just kind of blacken this area out. And then I actually moved the logo down here by that input port, right? Just to kind of highlight that, you know, basically the, the solar charging, right? So I think that just those quick little changes kind of made this unit just a little bit more appealing, you know, as far as the aesthetics go. Oh, and by the way, in case you caught this, uh, this little spelling error here, fast ching changer, 
<laughs> fast changer. This is actually just, you know, a rendering of the product. They did fix this for the production units. And then as far as the AC outlets, we do get a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now, the one thing I will notice that, you know, this is not always the, the best idea to have like a really large inverter on a small battery, right? Um, basically, when you have this thing on, you're going to be draining through power pretty quick with this thing. So I would kind of like plan on using this device mainly like try to just use the, the DC outputs on this thing, right? And then kind of use this, um, the AC inverter kind of sparingly. And now another part of the equation that kind of, you know, allows this unit to get such fast, fast charging speeds is should, take a look at this fan that they have on this unit. This is like a really good sized fan and it is kind of mounted a little bit lower. Like, it, you know, typically we see these fans kind of mounted high up on these power stations because they're trying to cool the inverters and the heat sinks and the converters and stuff like that basically everything that kind of sits you know typically at the top of the unit but as we showed um you know they do have that um that other heat sink down at the bottom for the mppt controller and then obviously the batteries as well so so this is just good stuff having a you know a fan that's going to basically blow air through the entire unit um including the batteries right this is just kind of something a lot of power stations just kind of like forget about or they just don't even bother with right like like yeah who cares about cooling kind of like the most important part of, of the power station right <laughs> so um so yeah this is just good stuff so basically they're air cooling those batteries um which is because you know the batteries do heat up too when you're doing these fast charges which is kind of the whole point and then obviously all of those heat sinks that they, you know a million heat sinks in there so this is just you know good stuff basically having a good cooling design on top of you know basically that that unique setup with the with the with the MPPT uh, heatsink as well, right? Oh yeah, and one last thing I forgot to note: they do have um, a wireless charger right on top there as well. And now the light on the back of the unit. This is something that I just love. This is it kind of really got me excited about this thing, because if you know if you follow the channel, I'm always talking about the the light design on these power stations. You know, so many power stations just put the light up right on the front, right? And it's just going to blind you. You know, if you're in a dark situation and you turn that light on, thinking you're going to kind of see what you're doing and you know that that light is just going to shine right in your eye so the best solution is always just to have the light on the back and what's what's really exciting about this unit is they actually have two different lights on it so these little um actually you can see better in this picture here these three little um led lights kind of sitting in the center there that's kind of like more of like a bright um you know kind of like spotlight style design and then the the outer ring this part here and then the top part as well right is basically like what they call a, a warmer tone ambient light. And both of these lights actually have, you know, basically a low setting and then a high setting, right? So this is just like, kind of like the ultimate um, light design for power stations. So yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.